Uh, well, another bad weekend here in Philly. Police are investigating a triple shooting in West Philadelphia. It's around 53rd and Market. But do I have this stat right, Steve? Almost 30 people were shot since Friday? Almost 40. 40? And when you say almost 40, it's because the cops we talked to don't have an accurate count yet. But if you add up all the press releases from the police, it comes out to about 36 with three more murders since we got off the air Friday. Remember, we hit 301 on Friday. Now the official tab, 304, which sadly puts us above another year, a fifth recent year, where they had 302. So we have surpassed five different years, complete year totals, already six and a half months into July. And among the wounded this weekend, Mike, a one-year-old baby won a five shot at one scene where we had four scenes of at least three people shot. And this 53rd and Market you're mentioning is the latest that happened just before midnight. And what made this worse, in addition to having three young people, just 16, 17, and 18, wounded and shot at right under the Market Frankfurt L, is that when police arrive to help them get them to a hospital and save their lives, for the third time in a week and a half, the Philadelphia police officers, as they arrive at a shooting scene, get shot at themselves. And they are diving for cover, having no clue where the shots are coming from in the dark. Everything is echoing off the train tracks, the steel tracks, the buildings, the stores there. So they're taking cover. That means they don't even get a shot off in self-defense because they don't even see the shooter. They just hear the bullets whizzing by them and ricocheting off the ground and everything else around them. So that could have been even worse. But a third time, the police always talking about not getting respected these days, now getting shot at, it seems, almost regularly during this situation that we have here. So 36 by one officer's count shot, three murdered, and D.A. Krasner having its his weekly gun violence update coincidentally this morning at 11 o'clock. He's also going to announce a third round of grant awards to three community-based organizations working to somehow help address the root causes of violence in Philadelphia. He'll be at a famous church up on North 12th Street, uh, the Baptist Church there, where they have always worked to help people improve their lives. And this case couldn't be any more dire in need of improving lives and improving the situation here in Philadelphia. So uh, I'm sure District Attorney Krasner is going to be asked about this latest round of gun violence, about the police being shot at and what his office is doing. He's got a whole slew of supporters behind him today, including a lot of the uh, pastors in that area. You know they want to make sure uh, that the kids that they're raising and helping raise with their families and their church groups are going to get to 18. But sadly, it seems that so many young people from one to 16, 15, 14, we had another 14-year-old girl wounded too. Remember, that was our story Friday morning. A second 14-year-old girl wounded the day after we talked about the one girl that was shot in the back, and hopefully she's getting better. Alex, yeah. Mike? Yeah. All right, we'll have a camera there at 11 o'clock.